Hi, well, it's Claire McTennant again on day eight of our 10 day business growth program here in this Facebook group. And today I have spent the majority of my day talking to clients and prospects. And the common theme has been about I'm doing this marketing activity, I'm having sales conversations, but I'm not getting to the pot of gold at the end of it. Do you resonate with that? Have you been doing marketing, whether that's a bit of email or a bit on LinkedIn or something like that, and you've been having some sales dialogue, but it just isn't converting into cash in the bank? Have you felt that frustration? I'm sure you have. Most people have at some point or other. I said it, and it, it is so common. And I likened it today to this one guy I was talking to. I said it's like he's baked this really great cake. He's got the perfect sponge, but he hasn't got any of the really lovely filling or the really great icing, which really make it a fab cake to eat. Hiya, Sarah. So you ever been in that situation where you feel like you spent all that time making a fab cake, but you've just forgotten the key ingredients that make it an awesome cake? You know, that is what it's like when you don't quite hit your sales and marketing. And obviously the consequence of that is, you're putting time in, all this effort into the marketing and the sales conversations, but you're not getting the money. And that becomes unsustainable. It gets to a point where that just isn't working for you. You usually get really knackered, really despondent, your confidence goes out the window and you finally just want to jack it in. Now, you may be lucky enough that you still have enough business coming in that it's okay if this sales and marketing activity isn't quite working for you. Or maybe that's not where you are. Maybe you absolutely need to get your sales and marketing working better for you. If that's the case, you're in the right place. This is what I must do the vast majority of my time. I help people get that bit exactly right. And it is so frustrating when it doesn't work. And in my experience, it doesn't take much to change that, to get that literally the icing on the cake sorted for you. But what you need to do is really analyse your actions. Because basically what we're doing, especially if we survive on word of mouth referrals, we're literally expecting people to come up, throw money at us and say, will you, will you take my money and help me with insert whatever it is that you do? And, you know, that doesn't really happen in real life, does it? You know, not many people are going to walk up to you and throw money at you so you can work with them. Most people will actually need some level of sales dialogue to get them to say yes. And how good you are at that, how good you are at that transition from marketing into sales, closing into cash in the bank and delivery, how well you manage that totally drives the success of your business. It totally drives the number of hours you have to work. And when it is just you in your business, that is fundamentally important. And I promise you, it is so easy to change once you realise what you've got to do. I was having a conversation with a really lovely lady from Derbyshire there and it was like I took the blinkers off her. Just sort of saying, this is the kind of thing I'm hearing you saying, just change these bits, makes all the difference. And I tell you, some of the blinkers are the things I told you the other day when we had the session purely on sales, so I don't want to repeat myself. But what you've got to realise, sales and marketing are a continuum. Now, it makes more sense to call it marketing and sales because obviously we do the marketing first and then the sales activity. Marketing is all about getting people to put their hands up, to inquire, to show interest in what you do. Then we grab them from a sales viewpoint, have sales dialogue with them, either verbally or written, and convert them into a paying client. It really is that simple. But what we do is like we have a leaky bucket and we have loads of points where we don't quite ace it and we lose those leads. And how frustrating is that when you've worked so hard to get them? And then if we don't actually lose them, then we just manage to like kick them off into limbo land and trigger them to go into follow up hell. And that makes no sense. And it comes down to the language we use, how confident we are in those sales discussions, how confident we are in our marketing, and we just need to nail it and convert. What difference would it make to you if you could convert like 80, 90% of the leads that come in? What difference would it make to you if you could have a steady flow of leads arriving at your door every day? Now, both of those statements can, be easy, can easily come true when you are your business. 
you don't need to have lots of staff around you to make those things happen. It comes down to using automated systems where it makes sense. I use one at the moment for LinkedIn. There's been a lot of trouble with some LinkedIn automation, but the one I'm using seems to be working fine, does a lot of the heavy lifting for me. All me and my team have to do is when somebody responds with, here's my email address, send me some more information, we literally pick them up at that point, show them loads of love and convert them. It is that simple. Meanwhile, the system is working away when we're not, and it is just beautiful. Okay, there are loads of ways to improve your sales and marketing. So if you find you're wasting time on LinkedIn, on Facebook, you feel like you're talking to yourself, you feel like your prospects aren't there, look at exactly what you're doing and how well you manage that transition from marketing to sales, because that is gonna make a huge difference to your bottom line. And this is like the biggest, the number one biggest challenge my clients have is improving that position. I tell you, I just sit down, I analyze it. I have a forensic background. I just analyze the problems they're having and we just make it work so much better. So they get money, they get inquiries, they convert them. Cash goes in the bank and love everything works great. They are higher Craig, it's quite funny. What I didn't do before doing this live is turn all my other notifications off. So I currently have my 19 year old daughter asking me for money while I'm doing a Facebook live for work. So aren't kids great? The, uh, so I'll sort her out later. She went back to university yesterday. So obviously now she decides she needs more money. So I better be good at what I do, eh, haven't I? The, so please go away, analyze your sales, your marketing and sales process. So that's a top tip for today. Analyze that process. Stop squandering your time by not managing it as well as you possibly can. Because I'm assuming you're not time rich. Very few of us are time rich. So if you need to be a lot more tighter with the time and make more money, go and analyze your marketing and sales continuum and work out where you're not using it to its fullest potential. Where are you leaving money on the table? How, you know, are you following up as much as you should? So on average, most sales take five to 12 contacts before someone makes a buying decision. Well, how are you managing that five to 12 contacts? Are you stopping at number two and assuming they don't want to buy your stuff? Meanwhile, your competitor walks in and gets the sale just because they're managing it better. So look at that process, work out where you're leaving the money on the table and what steps you can put in place to improve it. I promise you it is so easy to improve once you get it in your head. And if you need help with that, that's exactly what my discovery days are there to do. Come to a discovery day and we show you how we actually work with our clients. So the methodology we use is in a circle. That's why I'm doing this shape with my hands. And we show you the results our clients get. We just lay them out there. We show you the problems they have when they signed up. So what triggered them to need our help and the level of result they've got out as a, as a result of this. We've had people come to us on a total burning platform where the money had gone and they desperately needed a result and we've gotten them a result worth a hundred grand in a couple of months. So this stuff works, you know, it's not brain surgery. It doesn't cost any additional money. You know, there's no, we don't pay money for ads like Google AdWords, pay-per-click. We don't spend money on any of that. We just show you lots of free to use marketing and sales approaches, which when you implement them, it gives you clients. As long as you do the work, you will get clients out at the end. And that's what we show you on a discovery day. All you need to do is drop me a message. So like click on my face, drop me a message, and we will show you how to get booked into one of our discovery days. There's one coming up in September in just over a week or so. So I'm Claire McTernan. Please go and look at your marketing to sales process because you are leaving money on the table. Go and get that sorted out. And my strap line is no fluff, just results. <laughs>